Hey guys, what's going on? Honest Abe checking in on a football Friday. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, and uh, it is a great, great Friday here. Starting to rain here in East Tennessee, so not too bad, but it was, was not uh, too cold today. But again, I hope everybody had fun and safe. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, I tell you what, uh, did a lot of eating. Ate that turkey and had that uh, sweet potatoes, sweet potato casserole, and green beans, mashed potatoes, and man, it was some good stuff. And uh, uh, fried squash, fried uh, pralines, uh, fried onions, stuff like that. I mean, it was good. It was really, really good. So, uh, again, hope you guys had a good one. You guys are staying safe out there. But, uh, hey, Tennessee's got a big football game tomorrow uh, against Vanderbilt. Uh, both teams are 5-6. and six. And, uh, you know what, uh, I'm not, I, I'm probably not going to just talk a whole lot about what Tennessee needs to do. I mean, we all know what Tennessee needs to do. They just need to go out and win this game, period. Whatever it takes to get bowl eligible, they have to go out and win this game. And Jeremy Pruitt's first year as head coach, uh, get the ball back on track. You know, I mean, Tennessee has lost to Vanderbilt past two seasons. We can't make it three in a row. We haven't lost three in a row to Vandy since the 20s. Um, so we cannot lose to Vanderbilt tomorrow, no matter what, period, end of story. Uh, you know, Garantano is kind of questionable, Jennings, you know, we got some we got some guys that are banged up, but it's looking like they're probably going to play uh, because, you know what, if you are not hurt, hurt, you're playing in this game uh, pretty much according to Jeremy Pruitt. I don't know, I mean, you are going out, you're going to play. Uh, if you are one of our starters, you one of our players, you're going to play or you're not going to be here next season. And, you know, I like that attitude. I mean, if you are not actually, like, injured, injured, hurt, um, and you're just banged up, um, everybody's hurt at this point in the season. Everybody's got bruises. Everybody's got nicks. you got to go out and you got to beat Vandy, period. I don't care the game's in Nashville. I don't care that Vanderbilt's a three-point, uh, you know, advantage and we're an underdog. You know, I, I don't I don't care. You have to go out and you have to win this game. Uh, and you have to get to 6-6. Six and six. You have to uh, technically really be bowl eligible. You know, I really don't consider a 5-7 and seven a bowl eligibility. But I imagine even if we do go out and lose tomorrow, we will get a bowl bid. And Jeremy Pruitt will probably take it. I don't necessarily agree with that. I, I even think if you're a 500 team, you shouldn't be bowl eligible. But that's just me, period. We could talk about the bowls and the uh, and the championship and the playoffs uh, next weekend. I'll, I'll, I'll probably do a video on all that and just kind of give you my thoughts and opinions on the football playoff um, and all the all these bowls and everything. They keep, you know, more and more, it just seems like. And, you know, a lot of them are a waste of time. A lot of them are boring. We need to have some meaningful, you know, games during that time of year. But anyway, off on a tangent, back to Tennessee football. We're playing Vanderbilt. You know, they've had a decent season. Um, you know, Tennessee has had an okay season in Jeremy Pruitt's first year. And But the thing is, I think we're getting better. You know, we have an on-again, off-again week, uh, week. And, you know, so we were off last week. We got destroyed by Missouri. And it wasn't pretty. So if, you know, things go like they have been this season, you know, hopefully we'll have an on week tomorrow. And our players are going to play. They're going to execute. They're going to protect the quarterback. They're going to open up some running lanes uh, for our running backs. Uh, we're going to be able to, you know, get the ball downfield, mix it up a little bit, and basically do what we need to do on offense to stop Vanderbilt's run and pass game. Period. I mean, that's it. End of story. Go out, win the game. That's, that's all you got to do. Um, and so, yeah. But uh, that's, that's going to be pretty much it on Tennessee football. You know, it's basically basketball season in my mind at this point. Um, and, you know, Tennessee's in the NIT uh, tip-off tournament up in Brooklyn. We play Kansas tonight at 9 o'clock on ESPN, I think, 2. And it is going to be a huge game. Basically, number 5 versus the number, like, I think they're ranked like 2 or 3, depending on what poll you look at. Uh, but, yeah, you know what? Uh, Duke goes down against Gonzaga. Um, you know, that was like a 1-3 matchup, depending on which poll you look at. But I think, you know, Gonzaga was 3, and Duke was definitely number 1, and that makes Kansas 2. And so uh, we're number 5, and 
you know, some huge matchups, uh, you know, this past, I tell you what, these past couple days uh, for sports have been awesome, uh, starting with Wednesday night with Tennessee game, of course, you had some football yesterday, uh, of course, you know, that Tiger, Phil Mickelson, golf thing, whatever, you know, that was going on today, I'm sure some people tuned in, $20 on pay-per-view, $200,000 bet on the first hole, uh, but, you know, you got basketball again tonight, you got some more college, it's rivalry week, college football tomorrow, Saturday, some more good uh, NFL games coming up on Sunday. So I tell you, what I mean, it's been a good. It's definitely been a good past couple of days for uh, for uh, for sports for football. Going to be a good next couple of days as well. Um, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to watching some sports. I'll definitely be uh, watching the Tennessee game uh, this evening uh, versus Kansas. And I hope we come out of Brooklyn with a win and win that tournament. I hope definitely make a huge statement uh, for the nation that. Uh, Tennessee is for real uh, this year, and of course we got Gonzaga here in a couple weeks. You know, number three team. They're probably going to bump past uh, Kansas, especially if we beat them. And I think they'll actually uh, they'll switch basically with Duke, and Gonzaga will be number one, and Duke will end up dropping them number three. You know what happens to Kansas? You know, if Tennessee wins, hey, that throws you know big old wrench in the rankings. I mean, Tennessee could be ranked number one if we beat Kansas tonight. That would be crazy. We would jump three spots to number one, uh, basically. Um, and I I think that would be awesome uh, if if Tennessee can do that. But, uh, again, you know, Grant Williams, uh, Schofield, uh, they got to come out. You know, Turner, uh, Lamonte Turner, you know, coming off of that shoulder injury, he was kind of uh, he was kind of icy there. He got an easy layup in the first half. His first free throw was an air ball, and he – Finally, he, he, he did keep shooting, and he finally started hit, knocking down some threes and knocking down some shots. Uh, I think he finished the game with 10 points uh, the other night, which was huge. You know, just getting him back in the swing of things, you know, six man of the year. Getting him back is huge. Definitely adds a whole new dynamic to um, our offense uh, at, for basketball. And I tell you what, he's going to get better and better this season as well, but uh, you know, Bone, I think he had a good game. You know, Kyle Alexander, he definitely had a good game. Fulkerson, he's, man, he is just grinding out. Even with that face mask now, with that broken nose he got against Georgia Tech. I uh, definitely got to uh, like what he's doing. But I tell you what, man, we have a good basketball team this year, and it is basketball time in Tennessee. So, anyway, guys, I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. going to give you guys uh, some of my thoughts about the basketball game. Looking forward to the football game. Uh, and uh, and everything. But uh, anyway, guys, hope you guys are doing well again. This is Honest Abe signing off. We'll catch you guys later. See ya.